Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Ewa Wilkerson, whose work stood out to me among the many beautiful poems I read for its clarity, by which I mean its ability to face opacity with open eyes and to confront paradox and mystery in precise language that was vivid and with image and um, with feeling. It's a poem of great poise, and its spare, eerie music enacts rhythmically the halting, haunting motions of a mind doubting itself and its interlocutors in the wake of injury. Yua recently moved to Chicago from his home in Texas to begin the master's program in the humanities with an emphasis on creative writing. In the past few years, he has spent time mostly in Austin, Texas, Germany, and northern China, teaching and writing for himself or the occasional zine. Thank you, Margaret. So this is a poem that's very personal. It's about an experience I had of, an, of a concussion. And like, I just wanted to convey the like, kind of vagueness that pervades concussions on all scales from experiential scales to like the the way that it's talked about and treated medically um, in the title I think will give you guys a sense of that it's called mild traumatic brain injury water unseen pours into the scene here in the drunk writhing wet sinking around the pile of dirty cups and plates. I know myself still and let it coil and dance around me. What are you doing? I don't answer. I'm busy with the tap. The doctor told me there's nothing I can do and to drink plenty of water. Lurchen, he said, pointing sternly down his throat. Put it out. Quiet. The burning clarity of that memory circles back like a silent film. Alles klar? I don't remember what happened. Just a moment of mental fire, waking on the floor. I was waving, pushing waters aside, eyes closed in the inner light of it. Um, I tried to find you at the hospital, but I got the wrong American. I tried again. The boy with the Gehirnerschütterung. The nurse gave me your name. You were on fire, just a little too much. She laughed when she found me. I knew we'd met. This fire. Whose room is this? I don't know. The blankets I hung over, the windows blow forgetful shadows in. Her laughter blows through the room as my stray thought flares out in the gap. She speaks. Her words wind around me. Darkening wind rolls over my absence as my stranded neurons flare off. Time. Some time between three weeks and six months. My father looks at me, his unconcerned facial hair familiar. From a film where a man woke up and shaved off his mustache, no one seemed to notice. You seem the same. A scene dimly where he watched the dead hairs burn. Stop staring, past the butter. Hands moving slyly behind my glass, as if my cover were under question. A laugh bursts. You're sure thirsty these days. 
I let it ripple through me. And there is a voice who responds evenly from somewhere beneath or through these waters. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.